Where fact is fiction and fiction is reality. Now, here's your host, Rob McConnell. And welcome to the X One, everyone. My name is Rob McConnell. For the next four hours, I'm your host and your guide as together we cross the time-space continuum to this place that I call the X-Zone. It's a place where people dare to believe and dare to be heard. It's a place where fact is fiction and fiction is reality. And the X-Zone comes to you Monday through Friday from 10 p.m. Eastern until 2 a.m. Eastern all around the world on the X-Zone Broadcast Network and our family of broadcast affiliates, satellite companies, and internet relay audio people. Worldwide toll-free, 1-800-610-7035. Email xzone at xzoneradiotv.com. On all social media sites, TV, And our web, www.xzoneradiotv.com. My guest this hour is a gentleman we've had the pleasure of having on the show before. Uh, Pastor Don Preston is our special guest this hour. And uh, he's the minister for the Ardmore family I I am at, wait a minute Ardmore Family of God Church. He's been there for sixteen years, and uh, Pastor Don, welcome back to the X Zone. Always great talking to you, my friend. Thank you, Rob. It's always a pleasure to be here, and always an honor. Thank you, sir. Um, what's new with you uh, since you and I last talked? Oh my, uh, wonderful things happening. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I'm in the midst of writing. Uh, about three books at the same time My goodness. Uh, on eschatology. As, mm-hmm. as you know, I've written 21 books on, on Bible prophecy already. I'm currently focused on one. I am involved in planning our prophecy conference uh, that I sponsor here in Ardmore, Oklahoma, every single year. This year is July the 17th through the 19th. People can find information on my websites. And, uh, you know, I'm just corresponding with people from all over the world. And uh, I, I really got to tell you, I'm, I'm having a ball, Rob. Uh, of sharing the message that I have, that we're mm-hmm. not in the end times, the world's not about to blow up, uh, in spite of all the new, brand new predictions. I mean, oh, you know, gosh. we've got this plethora of brand spanking new predictions coming from, uh, you know, John Hagee and other circles and everything, that everything's going to be wrapped, going to be wrapped up by September 2015. Uh, I'm having a lot of fun debunking this uh, because... It's so, and I don't mean offense to anyone, Mm -hmm. please understand. Uh, I I try to be very sensitive to people's convictions, and I know there are a lot of wonderful people who believe these things sincerely, but really this is some of the most nonsensical stuff that John Hagee has ever come up with. Why does he keep on coming up with this uh, prediction after prediction after prediction? Doesn't he get it that it's not going to happen yet? Well, you would think that John Hagee would finally... uh, come to terms with the fact that he knows he's been making these false predictions. Look, I sat in my in my chair in my living room in 1999, and I watched and I listened as John Hagee was on Benny Hinn's TV program. Mm-hmm. And John Hagee told Benny Hinn, I heard it, I took my notes, he told him the rapture probably would be, could very definitely be within the next six months. And Benny Hinn seemed actually shocked that the prediction was so precise and so confident. And he, I mean, the shock on his face was very clear. Yeah. He said, are you telling us that it's that close? Are you really predicting the rapture within six months? And John Hagee, very confidently, as he is wont to do, I'm telling you it's that close. Well, let me see. That's 15 years ago. He kind of missed the boat, didn't he? He missed the boat then. He's missed the boat every se- You know, it makes you wonder how many of those great, beautiful, beautiful artistic charts that have pre- have predicted the end at a given time. What makes you wonder how many of those he's got folded up in the back room, never to see to the light of day. Maybe they've even burnt them. I don't know, to destroy the evidence. But he's no different mm-hmm. than so many of these others out there. He is bold. And in his newest prediction, and by the way, the deadline for the beginning of his very latest, greatest prediction 
is one week from today, April wow. the 15th, 2014. So let me get this straight. He's saying that the the rapture, the end of the world, is going to be September the 15th, 2014. Actually, that's where his latest prediction has messed up. Ah, <laughs> Why don't we take a commercial break, uh, Don? And when we come back, tell us how this prediction by John Hagee, no surprise to anybody who knows the story behind the gentleman, uh, messes up. Exonation, the one and only doctor, pastor, Don Preston is our special guest. His website is www.bibleprophecy.com. That's www.bibleprophecy.com. And uh, Don and I will be back on the other side of this commercial break in two minutes. As the Exxon continues from our broadcast center in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. If you'd like to listen to past shows, it's very simple. www.exxonpodcast.com. And to listen to the Exxon radio on telephone... I'm going to give you the numbers when we come back from this commercial break. A bit of a cliffhanger here. Cliffhanger with Dr. Don Preston, our guest, and a cliffhanger with yours truly, Rob McConnell. I'll be back on the other side of this two-minute commercial break. Don't go away. With each new extreme weather event or terrorist act, it becomes increasingly obvious that we live in uncertain and challenging times. We all buy car insurance. Why not collapse and catastrophe insurance? Matthew Stein, an MIT-trained engineer and green builder, has written two outstanding books to help people prepare, plan for, and deal with everything from minor situations lasting a few days to full-on collapse. Matt's first book, When Technology Fails, is a manual for self-reliance, sustainable living, and surviving the long emergency. This massive book covers the gamut from first aid and emergency preparedness to alternative healing, renewable energy, primitive living skills, and 18th century technologies that could be critical to your comfort and survival in a long-lasting crisis. Matt's second book, When Disaster Strikes, is a comprehensive emergency preparedness handbook and survival guide. When Disaster Strikes is an essential item for every family's go-bag, Both books are available at all usual sources. There's a wealth of totally free information posted at whentechfails.com and author signed copies may be purchased at mattstein.com. That's www.whentechfails.com and www.mattstein.com. Named one of the world's greatest psychics, Elizabeth Joyce is now giving readings worldwide via Skype. Elizabeth Joyce is recognized for her clairvoyant ability to help find missing persons, her analysis of dreams, past life regression work, mediumship, and her accurate predictions. Elizabeth has been a frequent guest on the X Zone radio show with yours truly, Rob McConnell, now for several years. For an appointment with Elizabeth Joyce, call 201-934-8986 or Skype at Elizabeth.Joyce. And for more information, you can always visit Elizabeth Joyce online at www.new-visions.com. a disease that you would like to alleviate through a natural means? Have you been contacted by angels, ghosts, or even extraterrestrials and want to validate these experiences? Or would you simply like to speak with someone who can help you find your life's purpose? I'm Dr. Joseph Mara, and I'm offering my services free of charge for first-time clients contacting me during the month of April. These free consultations include angel card readings, guided meditations, life coaching, and energy healing. If you have always wanted to explore these types of experiences but were skeptical or simply could not afford them, then take advantage of this free special offer. Contact me through my website. 
aguidinglight, spelled L-I-T-E, dot com to schedule your consultation today. Until then, I offer you love, light, and laughter. And welcome back to the Exxon. Dr. Don K. Preston is our very special guest this hour, www.bribleprophecy.com. Uh, Don, before we went to, to the commercial break, we were talking about Mr. Hagee's latest uh, predictions of September the 15th, 2014. And apparently it's supposed to start happening on April the 15th, one week from today. But you kind of, knowing you have your reasons why you don't believe it's not going to happen. <laughs> Well, that's an understatement. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, here's the deal. Uh, and let's see if we can put this uh, in an appropriate framework for those who may not be uh, aware of what uh, Mr. Hagee is saying. Mr. Hagee okay. is, in, is predicating and hanging his new predictions of the end upon what are called the four blood moons. Now, the, the four blood moons are they, they are, to be sure, an interesting astrological phenomenon that has taken place. Now, what what Hagee does, however, is he points to four blood moons that have happened. Now, what this means, let me very quickly see if I can explain this ever so briefly. A blood moon is you have a lunar eclipse followed by a solar eclipse. And as a result of the conjunction of the two, okay, mm -hmm. and they happen very, very closely uh, to one another, uh, you, you have an appearance of the moon that makes it appear red. So they call it a blood moon. Now, Hagee makes the claim that on four different occasions down through history, well, actually, he makes the claim that every time you have a, the, one of the blood moons, and he calls them the four blood moons, mm -hmm. you have, they are in conjunction with a humongously important uh, event concerning Israel. Well, you know, we have to admit that during the times of the blood moons that he has that he mentions, uh, there were some pretty major historical events. Y yes, uh, that, there were. That took place. I mm -hmm. mean, yeah, they did. I mean, no question about that. I let me see if I can remember the dates. Uh, Fourteen ninety-two, uh, obviously Christopher Columbus and and what have you. Uh, nineteen forty-eight, nineteen sixty-seven are three of those dates. Uh, nineteen sixty-seven, of, of course, one of the Jewish wars. Now, what what Mister Hagee fails to tell his audience is that there were also blood moons. According to my research, in 162 and 163 A.D., 795, 796 A.D., 842, 843 A.D., and on at least one other occasion, and oh, by the way, nothing massively significant concerning the Jews took place. So in the majority of the blood moons that have occurred, nothing happened in regard to Israel. So he's hanging his hat, and... In his videos, which can be found on YouTube, uh, he says things such as, I guarantee you this is true. He says the world's greatest scientific authorities say this is true. Well, what those scientific authorities are simply saying is, well, yeah, we'll have a conjunction between solar or lunar and solar eclipse. Yeah, yep. that's what they're saying will take place. Those scientific authorities are not saying that the rapture and the tribulation and et cetera, et cetera, are taking place. He's using a little bit of semantic, uh, you know, gymnastics to impress his audience. Okay. According to him, the beginning of, the blo of this blood moon cycle begins one week from today, April the 15th, 2014. And it will climax in September of 2014. Now, during this period of time, okay, which is what, a period of 15, 18 months, something yeah, like that, that yeah. if my math is correct here, okay, during this period of time, what we will, guaranteed, according to John Hagee, we will see the Battle of Gog and Magog. We will see the Great Tribulation. Now, here... You ask me why I know this can't be true, why it's self-defeating to John Hagee. You have to keep in mind that in the dispensational paradigm of John Hagee, 
Armageddon, I and the Battle of Gog and Magog.